Alyssa and her fiance Braden traded their snowboards for paddle boards two years ago. They moved from Denver to St. Pete and opened an art gallery. Most paintings are ocean themed, kind of makes sense, but her wall of fruit is getting a lot of attention. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in St. Pete where a woman's search for self-love requires paint and pineapples. Oh, I walk out the door and I'm just inundated with inspiration. Pick any wall at the Alyssa Marie Art Gallery. I love painting wildlife. And yes, beauty every once in a while I'll hangs there. The colors that you get from sea life are absolutely unbelievable and why I love to portray them so much in my paintings. Every single painting that she creates, I'm just absolutely amazed by. So Everything from I, ships I to I sharks speaks to her passion. <laughs> but one wall looks different. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot of questions around this wall, which is exactly what I envisioned. Ten I weeks ago, right Alyssa looked different. The biggest roller coaster you could imagine. She decided to have her breast implants of 10 years removed, a decision which made her rethink beauty. Having my implants removed gave me the realization that I have more to offer the world when I can quiet the noise of needing to change. Her surgery took place in Costa Rica, where she fell in love with pineapples. When it came time to create an art show, inspiring people to be their natural selves, she turned to her favorite the, fruit. The pineapple has been a universal symbol of self-love across the world for quite a while. Just like your kindergarten teacher told you, it's what's on the inside that counts. You know, if you tried to eat the skin off a pineapple, it wouldn't taste very good, and it's sweeter on the inside anyway. A lot like people who come in all different shapes and sizes. That's the idea behind Alyssa's gallery, an idea she hopes sinks in that you are much more than skin deep. We've had people buy them for themselves because they want a little reminder to love themselves. Or it's for my daughter in Portland, my wife Jill, my mom. When somebody comes in and they look at this wall, they can see that they are not alone in their journey of striving to feel a little bit more self-love. Oh, I love it. You'll never look at a pineapple the same right? after hearing her story. That's such a great idea. Yeah. Alyssa has received dedication cards sent to her from all over the world. No surprise there. Some of them as far away as New Zealand. She and Braden are hosting a pineapple art exhibit this weekend at the gallery. We've got those details for you at WTSP.com.